Shadows of the Abyss. The sinners are beginning in the heart of the city, where shadows lurk in every corner and darkness reigns supreme. A notorious killer named Aaron Blackwood walked the streets with a chilling confidence. confidence. Known for his gruesome acts and artistry of his kills, Aiden become a legend in the criminal underworld. But little did he know that someone else, equally skilled in arts, was watching his every move. Hunter's Game As the moon cast an eerie glow over the city, Aiden felt a glowing, growing unease creeping up his spine. He knew his reputation was drawn and wanted attention. He had always been one step ahead of his, of his pursuers. However, this time the hunter stalking him seemed different, more cunning, the feeling of being haunted, gnawed at his soul, leaving him restless and paranoid. Whispering shadows, in the depths of the night, whispers echoed through the empty tr- streets. Alien sleep was plagued by nightmares, visions of his past crimes haunting him. With every breath, he saw the faces of victims, their eyes filled with terror. Their dark blood staining his hands. Amidst the torment, new presence emerged from the darkness, a malevolent force that seemed to feed on his fears. Deadly dance. As the hunter closed in, leaving cryptic messages each crime scene, Adrian found himself entangled in a deadly game of mouse, cat and mouse. Till he became their battleground with every gruesome, with each gruesome kill, exhalating attention. Togo reveled in. A physiological torment, leaving Adrian questioning his own sanity. Were whispers in his mind real, a product of twisted imagination? Unmasking the shadows. Driven and brisk of madness, Adrian embarked on a desperate quest to unmask his relentless pursuer. He delved in forgotten archives and consulted the twisted minds, seeking any clue that could lead him to the truth. But deep he dug, the more he realised his hunter was not just an ordinary psychopath. above. No, this is a creature born from the darkest depths of human depravity. A final confrontation. As the clock ticked towards the final hour, Aeon's well spiralled in chaos. Hunter's relentless pursuit cost him dearly, leaving a trail of destruction in its wake. Aeon, driven by primal instinct to survive, refused to succumb to the terror of battle. Fred and the consuming. Catsomatic showdown. Two colours crashed the battle echoing through the night. The fates entwined in a dance of death. Epilogue Shadows of the Abyss. In the aftermath of the deadly confrontation, the city breathed as sigh of relief. Adrian Blackwood, the famous killer, was finally silenced. But as sun rose on a new day, a chilling realization settled upon those who had witnessed the horrors that had unfolded. The shadows have been went, not been vanquished, vanquished, as merely found they had merely found a new host, and so the cycle of darkness continued, lurking in the depths, waiting for the new unsuspecting victim, fall prey to its insidious grasp. The novel is a work of fiction, and not intended for glorified violence or harm. Pretty product of imagination, creativity, when the hero gender. <laughs>